Hello everybody. This is going to be the first of a series of videos. My name is Jose, by the way. I'm pretty new to coding and uh, web development and the like. Um, this is as much for you guys as it is for me. I have about, I want to say, almost a year now coding pretty consistently. Um, these videos are going to be targeting Free Code Camp, which is a great website to learn on. Um, it gives you a lot of information starting with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, integrating everything. And the cool thing is you get <clears throat> free certificates, front end, back end. Um, you do a lot of projects as well. Um, once you uh, get done with a lot of the, the, you know, the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you start getting into helping nonprofits um, in certain projects. I haven't got that far yet but I would like to start the videos and just as much as it is for you guys who are complete beginners um, it's also for me the practice the iterating of material helps ingrain it better concepts better every time I go through these lessons I, I learn something that I didn't know before so this is really helpful um, for me as much as it is for you so we're gonna go ahead and get started once you log into freecodecamp.com, uh, you could sign in either through uh, GitHub, create an, like through your email or whatever. But there is this getting started um, at the top. Some people get kind of like uh, confused as how to get to this part, but it is here in the map section. Once you're logged in, you know you just go all the way to the top. There's a getting started. I won't go through those, but they're just uh. You know, you got to join the free code camp community, which is also really good. There's like, even for me, you, you click on the link that's provided there and they'll give you like Facebook, uh, groups where free code camp is at in different towns. Um, but yeah, go ahead and become part of that. Another thing about that I've learned more and more as I, as I do HTML, CSS and JavaScript is, uh, communicating with others helps tremendously especially when you're unsure of what you know what is going on in your code um, or you can't find a mistake an extra pair of eyes will definitely uh, be of a lot of help especially in, in finding things that you know you couldn't find and vice versa there's sometimes where where someone will put up code that they can't figure out and they're hitting their head over the the screen or something and they can't figure it out but an extra pair of eyes, you know, sees things in a different perspective, catches that semicolon that's missing, uh, catches that capitalization, whatever small thing it is. But, uh, yeah, become a part of groups, become a part of communities where there's coders, because that was a, a thing that kind of discouraged me in the beginning, is there's no one I could speak to out here that could uh, answer my questions. But online, free resources, a uh, community of people that love coding just as much as we do, become a part of that and you know don't try to do it all on your own unless you're that kind of person who can then uh, more power to you so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the HTML section right here and says five hours we're gonna go ahead and I'll probably just do uh, I'm thinking I may actually separate everything into into videos this could be an introduction so I might just go ahead and stop this one now and we'll continue on in the say hello to HTML elements.